Hey, Smokestack fans, Johnny C from New Jersey. It is uh, late October, it's getting cold, and uh, well, hopefully we won't get snow for a little while. But anyway, the purpose of this video is being safe. Okay, now that it's getting colder, we're gonna be running our gen sets, probably in enclosed areas, which may not be a good idea. All right, going back a couple years ago, I did do a full segment on uh, carbon monoxide, uh, the stuff that uh, kill you. Uh, in my garage, but now we got our generator shed right here. Okay in a minute We're gonna be walking in inside the generator shed. You probably already know I got the uh, diesel the DJC And also a JB. Okay, the JB is not really hooked up to run in the uh, generator room Okay, there's no exhaust unlike this guy right here. That's for the diesel, but nonetheless uh, it runs Okay, but uh, I have a carbon monoxide tester in there and uh you probably hear in the background right now, okay? The DJ, no, I'm sorry, the JB, the two-cylinder gasoline motor is running, okay? It's not exhausted, but uh, I have this door wide open over here. Also, I have a big garage door completely open. And we'll see that in a second. I don't want to die in there. Uh, right here, full-size garage door. You can see the uh, throughput right there. But my alarm is going off, okay? Uh, not good. I highly doubt that any of you uh, stackers out there have carbon monoxide uh, detectors in your garages. But uh, I think this uh, detector, which you'll see in a minute, is supposed to go off at uh, 40 parts per million or greater. All right, I think something in the range of 200, somewhere there about parts per million could kill you in short time, I guess, if you uh, end up breathing uh, the, the uh, contaminated air with uh, carbon monoxide. Let's go in, take a look and see what we're running, how we are running it. Again, I don't have any exhaust or anything like that. We didn't hook it up yet. It will be a backup uh, to the main generator, uh, but I'm just running it. And then we're gonna see how much carbon monoxide we have in here. Once again, the doors are wide open. This is our JB right here. Hopefully you can hear me. Okay. Yes, it is running. We're on gasoline, as you can see. And our exhaust is not going out outside. Alright, once again, hey, what's the concern? We got the garage door open, we got the door wide open, but what are we actually, uh, how much carbon dioxide do we have going here? We might get this thing right. Okay, about 931. Uh, once again, I don't know if you could hear me with the sound of the motor running. We have approximately 931 parts per million of uh, carbon monoxide. I think that's a little dangerous, okay? So we don't want to work in here too long. So here's just a short little video to all you stackers out there, whether if you're running these generators or anything else, uh, please do it in uh, wide open air, okay? Or at least exhaust your uh, engine to the outside. Who would ever think that uh, I'd be producing that much uh, carbon monoxide in a, pretty much an open uh, room right here, but we are. So, word of advice, don't do it. Let's shut it down. Okay, do it the right way. Exhaust it out, okay? Uh, we ran this uh, DJC many, many a times in videos and whatnot with our carbon monoxide uh, detector up above, never had any problems whatsoever. So once again, winter's coming around. All you guys in the northern states, uh, we want to be safe. So take it from Johnny C, be safe. Do not run your engines indoors without proper ventilation. Thank you, bye.